2013 pole marker, position of the planets on January 1st, 2013, viewed from South Pole, and the search for knowledge about our planet and our, out past our solar system. It's what we do at the South Pole. This year, I wanted to return the marker to more of a traditional geographical marker and simplify the design. So rather than celebrating an event, it's back to marking the southernmost point on our Earth. As a result, this one has lots of pointy bits. <laughs> this marker shows the positions of the planets as viewed from South Pole on January 1, 2013. The seven brass planets are displayed on a copper inlay. In the very center, a, a small copper star marks the South Pole and also represents the Earth sciences done from here as we reach out to understand our planet. The large brass star represents astronomy and astrophysics as it extends out past our solar system in the quest for knowledge. In the center of the marker, in brass, we have the sun, sunset, and moon with the southern cross, including the pointers. If you look carefully, the small inscription above the moon reads, Accomplishment and Modesty. This was a reference to honor Neil Armstrong as he passed away while, he was, while I was making this section with the moon. The small notches on the inner brass section stretch between day and night and represent all polies. Winter can be a tough haul, but it's the summer polies that make a winter possible. For those who still think Pluto should be a planet, you'll find it included underneath just to keep everyone happy. <laughs> Bring back Pluto, I say. <laughs> all right. There we go. So it's all lined up. It's lined up at the right time. He gave me the time, so this is the line of the planets. No if you can see them right now. <laughs> nothing on Facebook. It's all blue. Copyright infringement here. Yep. <laughs> this is the day having the photograph for yeah. camera.